Did we've just seen uh, Soriano. She looks in outstanding order. Yeah, she does. I mean, um, she's really on her way up. Looks super, as you can see. Her coat looks fantastic. Her work here on Tuesday morning was very, very good. The whole way through the uh, preparation, she's impressed, just getting better and better all the time. She seems to be a mare that's got better and better with age. You know, she's been very unlucky in a lot of those Group 1 races. So uh, I think the tables might turn and it might be her luck on Saturday. One thing you did say, those group races, wait for age, she's proven at this and over 2,000 metres. Oh, definitely. You know, she's right up to those horses and wait for age. And she, like I said, she hasn't had any luck. And so she's due for a group one wait for age win. She's second favourite in the market and behind uh, Puccini. Is, is, is he logically the main danger? Oh, I would say he's a very good danger. I mean, he's a very good three-year-old. And the way he won his last start, he just put pay to them. He is a very, very good horse. And if they've got the Cox Plate on mind, well, you'd think he'd actually have to beat that field. Easy. Not the only horse uh, nominated for a Cox Plate though, what are the chances of Soriana going over? Well if she happens to win the um, race on Saturday, uh, we're more likely looking at the McKinnon Stakes for her. Yep. Okay, and of course uh, Denise Hell, who races this one has had success in that before with La Bella Dama. Yes, uh, the McKinnon's actually been a very kind race to us, we've won it with La Bella Dama and Ebony Grove, so we've had a lot of uh, luck in that race. Okay, what are the expectations uh, with Soriana for the weekend? Oh, very high. I mean, her work was phenomenal, so all she needs is an ounce of luck and um, everything to go our way.